What's up guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this video, we're going to take a look at this thing, this thing, and these things. And altogether, this makes up the Palette Expert Kit from palettegear.com, a modular suite of sliders, buttons, and dials to help us slice through editing tasks with more precision and control. But is it any good? Let's find out, roll the intro. Rightio, so here we have the palette box and in the box we have the core module that powers this whole shebang and all of the slider, button and dial modules. And brilliantly, a well-designed and easy to use set of instructions, which makes getting this thing up and running super quick and easy. Oh, and a USB cable. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the build quality. Each of the individual modules in the kit has a beautiful aluminium finish, very similar to what you'd expect to find on something like a MacBook Pro. The bottom of each module is covered with a rubber base to avoid scratching any surfaces, and of course, to stop the device sliding around your desk. Now the sliders and dials feel incredible to play with, even if they're not turned on and the large buttons have a nice retro arcade machine feel to them. And when you press them, they have a rather nostalgic and satisfying click to them. And the micro USB cable is black. I mean, it's a USB cable, so it don't matter. What do you mean I don't matter? You don't matter. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at some of the features and what it can do. So first up, we have the customization. Now for me, any product that allows user customization, especially changing the colors, automatically becomes my new favorite thing in the world ever. Then of course we have the ability to customize the actual layout of the palette itself to fit our workspace. For example, we can set it up to fit around the left or right edge of a keyboard. You can run it across the top, have it in a square block. Again, maximum customization here. Now next, we have the main function of the palette itself, where we can bind all of these cool sliders, buttons and dials to different actions in a variety of supported apps. And we can also configure an entirely new set of actions for each supported app. So each app can have its own profile with its own actions and palette seamlessly switches between profiles as you move from one app to another on your computer. So the actions that are set up for a particular app are always right there, ready to go. Okay, so let's put all of this together and talk about some of the benefits of using a palette kit. So I'm someone who is still developing their skills in Premiere Pro, who also has a pretty slow workflow. Once I got my palette all set up for Premiere Pro, my video editing speed increased considerably. Yeah, you were rubbish before. Things like zooming and panning around the timeline, scaling graphics and just selecting the tools that I use most often. These actions are now bound to sliders, buttons and dials on my palette. And to be honest, this is a device that I wouldn't necessarily have considered until I actually started using it. And now it's hard to imagine editing videos without it. The only thing that I'd love to see in a future update is to add a few more options for the sliders because these feel amazing to slide around. However, they don't include as many bindable actions as the buttons and dials. But apart from that one little thing, this is awesome. And there we go. That's a look at the palette kit from palettegear.com. I'll add a link in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. The version that Palette sent me is the expert kit and there's other options available too. And if you have any questions about my experience using this awesome piece of kit, drop them down in the comments below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.